Hello, this is the 1981 Inventions full range overdriver right here. Today's the official announcement date of this and it is made by a friend of mine who I first met at a sound check of his band, you may know, um, plays guitar for Reliant K. His name is Matt Hoops. I think he's wearing a Kansas City hat here. Yes, he is. KC. He lives in Nashville, but for some reason he has a KC hat. Um, Matthew started 1981 Inventions with this pedal right here, which is kind of a, not kind of, it is a really amazing um, rat style pedal. Um, and yeah, it's one of the best out there for distortion. Plus his aesthetic is awesome, which I'm a huge fan of pedal aesthetic. And this is the new pedal today. It is the full range overdriver. So before I get into it anymore, I have a little quick iPhone video. He literally tossed this to me a few minutes ago. Um, so here's Matt from Nashville a few minutes ago on his iPhone telling you about the new release today. Hey Josh, it's Matt. Thanks so much for having me on, man. Um, it really means a lot. Uh, man, everything you do is, is so awesome and I'm uh, really thankful that you uh, hit me up about today. So yeah, um, this is my new pedal. It's called LBL. It was a lot of fun. Um, it is a uh, low gain overdrive. Uh, it's very full range. Uh, it does not cut a lot of low end frequencies, but it still has that nice little compress squish palm mute thing that I love. Uh, it's very clear sounding. Um, it's very open. Uh, it kind of started out as I was going after a boost circuit uh, and John Snyder from Electronic Audio Experiments did the, uh, the circuit board and layout for this and um, Man, you know, it's just been a, it was a, it was a cool process because as we are going to add more gain and add more like mid-range subtleties to the circuit, uh, it really um, kind of became something that was about uh, something that I could use with my band, uh, Reliant K, and we can, uh, you know, kind of became the sound of our Forget Not Slow Down record, uh, especially for those songs. So. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun, and um, thanks again, LBL, available now, first day. Thank you. Super cool. Uh, Matt's a fantastic guy. Um, I remember when I got the first pedal here, the silver pedal, I met him at um, Pinewood Social in Nashville, if you're familiar. It's the ultimate place to lounge and talk, so we met up there. And I hadn't seen him in a few years, gave me this pedal, came home and was amazed by it. And, you know, since then, his pedals have been very conversational. A lot of people talk about his brand, his company. And, you know, there's a million opinions of what people think about a pedal, you know. I've heard the term hype thrown around this first pedal a lot. Hype is such a funny thing, but you can... You can determine on your own if something is hyped. That's up to you. What I can tell you as a circuit designer, as a person who's been in the pedal industry for 15 years, as someone who owns a bajillion pedals and has played them, these are really great. Um, this pedal has stood the test of time there. Um, you know, I think, I think some, of the, some of the dilemma with a smaller brand nowadays is people just get frustrated that there aren't enough of them to go around and that is kind of just how it is when you're a smaller builder and you're in that segment of reach you can only build so many i believe matt and his wife build these that makes them really special and not everything can be everywhere and so you know i just want to throw out the statement if you've been one of these people in the pedal community that gets upset about why are there not more of these people are scalping them sometimes that's just how it is and you can just choose to wait you can choose to still support a brand that's doing really good things uh, stateside and you can just 
not complain. That's my tip of the day for you. So let's look at these. Um, this is out obviously today. Um, I've said enough about this. It is a rat style distortion that's pretty special. And let's take a gander here. <clears throat> this is your sheet that comes with it. LVL full range overdriver uh, level. That's the left control. It's a gain control as gain increases, low end is shelved and brightness increases. That's super cool. Volume, this is the master volume. Crank it to drive your amp or dial it back. So really simple controls. Uh, he likes to start with both knobs around one o'clock. I agree, that was like a sweet spot here. Today I'm actually not playing the Kemper. I'm playing the Loud is More Good JHS amp. Um, and it really, really broke the amp up nicely. Um, it, just some things, he, I'm not gonna repeat what he said on the video, but I do wanna just say, um, John Snyder at Electric, um, Electric Audio, Electronic Audio Experience, a crazy cool guy um, who has had his hand in the pedal industry almost not secretly on purpose, but he's just, he's unknown to most people, but he actually designs and helps so many builders. So a huge shout out to John and you should go check out Electronic Audio Experiments. His pedals are amazing. I believe I'm doing a live next week with him. This may be news to him. I don't know if Bell got him the email, but he helped with this design. Um, and let's look at this pedal. Let's look at it. All right. So here's my clean tone. Also, um, I don't have a camera on it, but my verb is coming out of a Waza tube amp expander. So it's just a, like a digital hall. That's what you hear here. I turned the delay off. Here it is. Just the verb. And then I've been using the Plethora Times 3 by TC. I really love this pedal. You can't see it here, which is kind of dumb on my part, but I was using some of these delays, like this dual delay from the flashback. And then I had a reverse setting on as well. So that's what you were hearing. I just want to answer the comments that would be there. Um, Let's check this out. So bypass, and I'm just gonna play around with the controls and let you hear it hit the amp and do what it does. Um, obviously, I say stuff like this on the show a lot. I love pushing into another pedal. So on my boards, I always have a Klon circuit last. Let's say this is that game stage on this board. Um, Cause this is a board, knock on wood. Um, I'm pushing this and I like that. So I'm going to always use a pedal like this, like I would my morning glory. I would leave this on all the time, or I would push another drive with it. That's kind of how this works. But in this case, let's just play it through the amp and hear some different stuff and I'll shut up. So that's pretty stinking amazing. This is just hitting my amp, not that hard. So you are, you do have some clipping. And if I am correct, Matt is in the comments. He can correct me. <clears throat> I believe this is a, a really unique op amp circuit that John helped design and it has some soft clipping and unique meaning you're not looking at a 250 preamp. You're not looking at a screamer thing. So. What it's doing here is really interesting, and I can say sonically, it's amazing in my ears. I don't know how it sounds on the stream, but it's really, really nice. So let me keep playing with that high gain sound.
Okay, what I'm about to say, uh, it offends me, but <clears throat> a lot of people, it offends me because I know it's going to offend a lot of people um, who buy clons for thousands of dollars for clean boosts. So what I just did here, and I'm really new to this pedal, but I instantly stumbled into it. It's doing the thing that the clon does that everyone pays thousands of dollars for, which is like an always on buffer clean boost. They pay thousands of dollars. Let me say this to the camera. You pay thousands of dollars for the secret diode and you turn the gain knob off and you can't hear the secret diode. It's a little problem there, but this pedal is doing that really great. Now I'm going to stack. I love it exactly where he said to put it. He said right here, put the controls at one o'clock. And that's where I've landed. So Matt, I think you were born in 81. I was born in 82. And I think people born in 81, 82 really like the knob position there. I should start a rival company called 1982 Inventions. Not a bad idea. Let's stack. Here is the drive by itself. I'm gonna stack this on now, hitting it in the front. Okay, so I was actually having fun playing the guitar there. Good job, Matt. You made me have fun. Let me plug a bass up here. I feel crazy. I just saw a comment about bass. So before I do that, if you like pushing your amp, if you like pushing other drive pedals, if you like a pedal that you can leave on all the time, you should just get one of these. Um, and again, I can't say enough about the drive. It always made me laugh when I saw the comments like, this pedal's so hyped, I can just buy what, it's like, whatever, man. The pedal's really great, period. It's These are made really well also, I just wanna state that. So let me grab a bass while you stare at this. Um, The bass is, uh, 
What I need to do is have like 10 more cameras in this room where I can just, you can watch me just go all over the basement of my house. All right. So that's straight in bass tone into the Loud Is More Good amp, which is basement-ish. Um, so it's a really great tone. And I'm using the Waza tube amp expander as my DI out of that, because I don't, my wife would kill me. She's upstairs like doing something. And if I was playing a cab, I would die. So let's look at the pedal. See here. So this thing is handling low end really well. Dirty is it'll go for the bass. Oh crap, that's real good. I'm sorry, that's super good. That's as good as my Morning Glory on bass, and I've always felt pretty snobbish about how good the Morning Glory is on bass. This is this has that same bright thing, but the low end is there, so it's like carved. It's carved like a like a fall turkey, you know. Let's use a pick. distortion. Why not? So it's killer on bass and looking at these comments, we haven't even been going that long either. We're at 30 minutes and the comments, I do want to wrap up cause this is, you know, we're doing the thing here. Let me stack it with some other pedals cause everyone wants to know about stacking. Um, let's do that. Let's unplug the bass and just touch the tip of it so it drives people crazy. No, I won't do that. All right, let's, um, I have a blues driver. I'll do a morning glory. Let's stack it with the morning glory. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see it, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this really simple. My morning glory is under the shelf with the plethora, but I'm gonna set 
this at one o'clock. Let's use the one o'clock mat standard. And, uh, turn off everything. All right, so that is just this pedal, okay? Now, here's the morning glory on. You can't see it, but here it is. Off, so clean tone. Morning glory on. Now let's stack. So you get the idea. Over here, you can't see it. There's a morning glory on. So let's let's play the morning glory for a second and then turn this on. So yeah, take my money on that one. Um, so you could have a morning glory and this could be your high gain sound by just stacking it into it. I saw the comment, so it's just a boost. Well, no, it's a, it's a pretty complex circuit which has a really nice amount of gain. It's really smooth. The EQ is really nice. Um, it's easy to hear just a boost as like a little bit of a negative thing. You might not be meaning that, but you know, it's, it's a boost to drive. And I think his name is great. Full range overdriver. Uh, I think that's a really great um, way to put it. Let's do a screamer. I had this here near the desk. Ugh. So tube screamer and I'll actually put it, I'll disconnect this and let's, let's do the boost in. There we go. That bother some of you? Yeah, I think it does. I'll do this and we'll wrap it up. Um, I think Matthew's in there if you want to ask him any questions. Um, Reliant K questions? Questions about life, earth? I don't know. All right. I'm, oh man, I did a doozy on how neat that looked. Let's just do this. All right, so here is the bypass signal for you. Nope, that's the morning glory. Morning glory off, bypass signal. Bridge pickup now. Let's activate a tube screamer circuit and kind of put this. This is, if you don't know the, the screamer from the three series, it's my mod that I did for years on Tube Screamers. It's also the JHS mode that's on the Bonsai. Everyone was asking for that. So that's what this is. And it is basically a Tube Screamer that I modified. You know, no big whoop, but it does sound great. was cool. I mean, it's doing everything. Let's set the screamer light. Neck pickup. So good. It stacks so great with that. All right, so the verdict. The verdict is I really like these pedals. Uh, more than that, I really like Matt. I think he's a great guy. I really like the packaging. You get a zipper bag. You can um, you could do things. You could put your, sh I'm gonna put my film that I shoot in here so I know where it's at. Um, 
Here's all the stuff that came in the box. Got that, that sticker action. Hold on, ASMR. Okay, I'm done. Let me answer a couple questions and we'll get out of here. No record time today. Let's keep it all about these pedals. All right, let's see here. Wow, lots of comments. Um, just a lot of sounds good. Um, sounds amazing. I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. I don't see any real questions and that's okay. Doyle Hark KV says, wow, even Josh's bass playing is better than Rhett's slide tone. Do I have, do I have the sick burn? Yeah. Sick burn. It was a little loud, but it was in my system. Um, yeah. There's nothing really to answer here. You're all loving it. Go follow 1981 Inventions on Instagram and go to his website. Here's the website and you can order this or get in line for it or whatever. And remember, be nice and realize that the world's not really about you or me. And don't get mad when someone can't deliver your pedal the day you buy it. Some operations are smaller and Matt's doing really good stuff. Yeah, look at these photos. He's a good photographer too. Yeah, go check out 1981inventions.com and um, okay, that's it. Thanks for hanging out. We did good. We went like 30 minutes together. You got to hear this wonderful new pedal and these are worth picking up if you see one, very much so. That's it, the 1981 LVL full range overdriver officially in the wild today. Um, take care, have a good rest of your week and I might do another live stream this. I might do three this week, I don't know. I'm on a roll, they're fun to do. Talk to you later, um, get a hold of Matt if you need anything. He's on Instagram all the time. Bye-bye.